Okay, Libra, let's have a look and see who's coming in for Libra singles, Oracle of Love, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Who's coming towards you in regards to love, romance, and relationships? Libra, Oracle of Love. Okay, Six of Swords, it could be a fellow air sign coming through, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. The Six of Swords speaks about movement, um, evolving. Um, in a spiritual sense, I feel like this person is leaving behind a toxic situation or habit or negativity in their life. And it's almost like, you know, they're flying into the sunset here. So this person is finding happiness within themselves again. I feel if they've been connected with someone in a relationship, I feel like the relationship hasn't been going well. I feel like there's a lot of negative emotion or negative activity happening around this relationship. And I feel like they're moving on from a toxic person or a toxic relationship here, which shows growth and a sense of maturity because it's a sense of enlightenment. It can also be regarded in the physical sense here as well, Libra. This person could be quite adventurous, could be relocating. I feel like they're on the move a lot. Maybe they move around for work. Um, maybe there's a lot of traveling for them that's coming up as well. Um, this could also be something they do for work that they help people move out of certain situations, especially through consolation or through words or through communication somehow. So through words, speech, communication, they help people leave behind toxic people abusive behaviors, abusive relationships, and enter into something more smooth um, sailing here because the swords do represent communication. So this person could be um, a very good person to, um, you know, share your problems to. I feel like this person takes on a lot. They have a very benevolent and nurturing nature. And they like to help people through words. They ha they like to comfort people through words. So they may be like a social worker. They may be very well respected amongst their family and friends for the person that they are, the personality that they have, um, and, the, and their kindness as well. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo sign here with the Page of Pentacles. This person has finance around them possibly um, or analytics or admiration or a fixation on a business project or a career creative pursuit for example they can also be under the sign of a Taurus Capricorn or Virgo they're highly intellectual and they're very very observant and have amazing attention to detail as indicated by the owl the owl is very observant and I feel like um, this person is high up in their career as well I also feel like they have a lot of stability around them, Libra. You know, they're perched on top of this pentacle here and it doesn't look like it's about to go anywhere. It's not about to roll down. It's not about to break free. I feel like something is very set in stone with them. It's very cemented. So I feel like when they say something, they definitely follow through with it. It's not really wishy-washy behavior from them. They could be very set in their ways, so to speak. So I am getting some stubbornness here, which can be the case often with earth signs because they are so fixated, they are so grounded and set in their ways. So this person could have certain attributes of the Page of Pentacles. I also feel like the two of you might be meeting through career or you already know each other. There's an, there's an element of already being established with each other in some way. And I feel like this person watches you very intently. You know, you can see the page and the owl. There's a lot of admiration and observation. So I feel like this person looks at you very intently. You know, they've got a very intense stare or they like to watch the way you do the things. They're very um, enchanted by you in a way, whether they're aware of it or not. So whether they make it plain to you, whether they make it obvious or not, I still feel there's some sort of fixation here. And they're very much drawn to how you are and who you are here, Libra. So you definitely have a fan here. Or well, this person is a secret admirer that's coming through. And eventually this is someone that you might um, engage in a relationship with. They could also work with finance, business transactions and services, estates, material possessions, etc. Five of Cups, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy here with the Five of Cups. This person has... Um, recently, maybe in their recent past, maybe in their distant past, they've lost something. I feel like they're grieving or they help people that grieve in some way. Again, this could just be a benevolent personality and this person likes to help other people who have um, encountered some sort of troubles or obstacles in their life. But I also feel like the Five of Cups could apply to this person. There could be loss around them, a major loss that has, has possibly caused a hole in their heart. It's almost like a void here. With the Five of Cups energy, 
I feel like they, they like to dwell on certain things or they always go back to certain things. I don't know if it's something in their past, if it's with a relationship or someone left them. Or maybe they've encountered loss of some kind or something fell apart for them in their recent or distant past. But I think they're still grieving from this here. Um, or there's still some sort of um, recovery phase that's happening around them here, Libra, with the Five of Cups. But not all hope is lost is almost what I want to say to them. So I think they're hopeful towards something and I think it's towards love. I do. I feel like there's an empty void there for them. They are searching for love. They are searching for a partner. Um, someone they can be involved with romantically. Okay, the Fool. This is an Aries that's coming through with the Fool card. I feel like this person has taken a lot of chances on people with the Fool card. This person has been naive or gullible in some regard. Maybe in their past. Maybe now. I feel like... Um, you're not their conventional type. I think they're very, they, they believe they have a type here, Libra, and you're going to come along and prove them wrong because I think they're going to take a chance on you. You're definitely outside of the norm of what they usually go for. Um, you're definitely this free spirit, and I think in one way you're going to bring that out in them. I think in one way they could be more withdrawn. I don't see them being overly loud or um, outspoken or like an alpha male or an alpha female i do think they're more withdrawn but i do believe they have this spiritual adventurous side or streak within them somewhere and i think this is you you're going to draw that out in them libra because you just have this fantastic ability to do this with people and i think this is something that they're lacking you know they're both facing away from each other so i think this person needs a bit of zest a bit of passion in their life again especially what whatever's happened with them libra and for this reason i think that's why you're in their path right now but look it can be someone that's on the move it can be someone that's quite adventurous well traveled um moves around a lot for work has been a little bit of a nomad um or has been gullible before in a situation here as well with the fool I feel like sometimes in their past they go above and beyond for people and they don't see the same done to them in return. So sometimes I feel like they're, they feel a bit foolish for giving so much of themselves when they don't see that um, being given back to them. <clears throat> okay, the Magician. Aries again. First one of the Tarot deck, the Magician, the Manifester. This person is manifesting a lot in their life right now. There's a lot of changes happening around this person. They could have a creative pursuit or a creative talent they're trying to um, invest in or they're trying to, you know, they're trying to break into a certain industry here. They're perched on top of the tree stump. They're just about ready to soar. I feel like something is just about to take off for them or they're about to take off. I'm not sure if they're taking off like career-wise or they're taking off um, creatively or they're physically taking off like flying somewhere as we speak, but I feel like something's taking off for them with the Magician card. Again, there's quite a spiritual energy to, this, to the Magician card, so I do believe this person is quite spiritual, whether they're aware of it or not, whether they've had their spiritual awakening or not. Um, oftentimes the magician is very creative and very good at um, very talented and has a large following or a, um, a support network so to speak so I think this person has a lot of admirers whether it's because of their personality their looks I do think there's admiration coming in from lots of different people and they could perhaps be famous be in the public eye be in the limelight uh, for, for one reason or another or they could have a business that's about to take off for them so there is success there's a lot of new starts that are coming in for them and they're definitely leaving one part of their life and um, transiting into the other Okay, the Ten of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords can be seen as a betrayal. It can be seen as something that um, that is tempting, that is perhaps no good for us, that we've been around or we've been involved in. And if this is coming up for this person, I really feel like sometimes they get led into temptation. And I feel like you can see this with this sort of, um, like they want to fall. Is it temptation? They want to fall. They've got the dark birds here, yet something draws them back. So they're not falling just yet, but they can slip very easily. So I feel like they can slip into old patterns again. And whatever this means for different people, I'm not sure if this is 
becoming withdrawn, um, getting into a, a bad habit, again, you know, maybe drinking, excessive smoking or something that isn't good for them. It could be temptation in a way. I think they need to find moderation or a happy medium. It looks like almost a temperance symbol and that's all about moderation and, and being temperate. Um, a time for everything, a place for everything and everything in its place, so to speak. So I almost feel like there's moderation coming in, but the 10 does come down to the 1, so I do feel like there's a cleansing happening around them. I also feel like they're trying to balance between two different things right now. Um, or there's two significant things that are happening around them in regards to relationships, in regards to work, um, with the 10 of swords here. But sometimes I feel like they, they're able, they, they slip into certain things. I don't know if it's, the, if it's them becoming withdrawn, Libra, or them experiencing anxiety or depression. Um, you know, or this sort of, some sort of mental activity here that they can be drawn back into, um, is what I'm seeing. Okay, two of pentacles. Just as I said, they do have this sort of juggling act. They are juggling between two different things, major things that are happening. Look, it could be around career, two different income streams. They might have a self-governing business or a, a, um, a registered business or a creative talent, um, they may be a performer in some way, the magician and the fool are here, so they could perform for, pe for people's amusements. Um, but the Two of Pentacles is they're juggling a lot in terms of finances or people even. So at the time when you come into this person's life, they may be juggling between two different people and you could be one of them here, Libra. And maybe they're indecisive because they don't know which one complements them as yet. Again, I feel like for work, they... They're in performance or production or it's almost like they're supposed to make magic happen. Like there's a lot of responsibility and accountability that falls on them and it's almost like they're supposed to make things happen like this for other people. It's almost like they're supposed to pull a rabbit out of a hat and go from doing this to something major. So I feel like there's a lot of perhaps even unrealistic expectations that are being placed on this person for work or perhaps even creatively. Like maybe they're... I don't know, a film writer or something like this. And they're just, you know, expecting, people are just very um, demanding in what they expect from this person. And as a result, they have to do a bit of a juggling act with the two of pentacles. But it could be that this person is too in two minds or has dual nature to them. So it could be like Gemini energy. Um, if it's an air sign, I feel like there's duality around this person. So they may, I wouldn't say a split personality, Libra, but I do think there's definitely two sides to them. Um, coming up with the two of pentacles okay the seven seven of wands this is um territory i think when i see this card this is someone being territorial or possessive um, or resistant. I feel it's more to do with uh, territory and possessiveness. So I definitely think they're quite independent and they like their space, Libra. I feel like they're quite set in their ways and it's going to take a little bit of time to push those boundaries and um, I guess make them open up to you more. So you will have to exercise more patience here, Libra. I'm seeing that this person is resistant and is territorial. Now this can be translated into the sense where they're very possessive over their partner to the point where it can get them angry. So I am seeing jealousy, anger, confrontations and fighting because you do attract a lot of people naturally, Libra, with your natural friendly self. And unfortunately, this can be misconstrued by other people. And I can see that this could land the two of you in a little bit of hot water with the seven of ones. There's definitely going to be occasions when the two of you are locking horns. Now, if this is not the two of you in their personality, I feel like they may be doing this for work or they have a very defensive or opinionated personality um, is what I'm seeing here, Libra. But eventually, there is another free, a more loose, a more free, a more carefree side to them. You just have to give them time. So they can show you this side to them um, is what I'm seeing. Let's have a look and see when and where you'll meet Libra. Okay, when and where you'll meet Page of Swords, King of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords. Okay, Page of Swords. If you're meeting around the time of Page of Swords, Libra, you're possibly looking to the past here. I often associate with the Page of Swords uncertain, despaired, doubtful, maybe looking to the past, not confident in making forward decisions. I think this person is going to come into a, a, a time into your life when you're really assessing your, your directions in life. So reassessing life goals, reassessing career goals, 
um, reanalyzing where you're going in life, what you should be doing with yourself. You know, you're really in a, a somewhat confused state of mind when this person comes into your life. I mean, there's really a lot of options being presented for you and I can see that you're going to be conflicted by these options and this is when the person is going to come back uh, uh, to come into your path, uh, into your life. For some, it could be someone from your past. I do see you looking back to the past. So you're either reflecting on your past and then suddenly this person shows back up. Look, you might have just been friends. It doesn't mean that this is an ex-lover. You could have just been very well acquainted as indicated by the King of Pentacles, who is very established. So a connection between the two of you may exist already. You may have worked together. You may have been friends together. Um, you may have been introduced to each other a very long time ago. But the King of Pentacles does rule the time of Taurus, so roughly April 20th to May 20th. This could be an auspicious time frame for when the two of you are meeting or coming together into a relationship. The surroundings of the King of Pentacles is quite luxurious and plenty, so I feel like if you are meeting somewhere, it's there's very nice decor. Um, it's quite a cultured, so it could be like a culture class, a language class, um, a wine making class, a food tasting um, venue, like a beautiful restaurant. Um, it's a very cultured environment, and it can also be through um, career as well, because the Pentacles do traditionally denote commerce, wealth, finance. So this could be when some of you are meeting together. Ace of Cups is a beautiful card. I feel some of you are meeting through the church or spirituality, a yoga class, um, a church function, an engagement party, um, a baptism, a christening, a wedding, a spiritual festival, um, a crystal shop, an astrology shop, something connected with um, spirituality and or religion is what I'm seeing. It could also be somewhere near the water. There's birds here, there's water, so like a lake, walking by the lake, going to the beach, swimming. You know, whatever it is that you're doing, I feel like this is an auspicious time for you to be meeting with this person with the Ace of Cups. It could even be near a fountain. I just feel as though you might hear water or see water somewhere near you and this person when the two of you do meet. Again, the Three of Swords sort of reiterates the type of energy you're going to be in. There's a lots of um, there's lots of conflicting conflicting decisions that will be around you, Libra, when you come across this person. And I honestly feel for a lot of you that there's going to be two significant potential. I feel like there's going to be two candidates, two bachelors or two bachelorettes that are, that are really sticking out, and you're sort of juggling between the two, not knowing which one to choose. But I almost feel like the emotional connection and the emotional release you feel when you're with this person, I feel emotionally you'll know which one you want to go with. You know which one you want to choose. But it could also be that this person's coming into your life at a time when you've been cheated on, just after you've been cheated on, or maybe you've done the cheating. There's hurt and three lives could be intertwined here. So for some of you, this is when you're connecting. You'll actually meet very soon after for some of you. If this has happened or will happen, this could, um, it's almost like this person will be waiting for you after this event type thing. So look, I will leave it 